Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and this fall along we are going to learn about key rotation. So what I want you to do is make it back to the vault that we were just in, the no protect vault, and we'll go over to keys, and we'll have to create a new key. So I'm gonna create a new key here called my new key, and it's gonna be RSA 2048, and we're gonna go ahead and create that key. So the idea of key rotation is that if you have, uh, if you think your key has been compromised or you have um, a policy like a company policy that you should rotate them for security purposes after a while, uh, you can easily rotate out keys. So um, in order to rotate a key, it's as simple as going to uh, your rotation policy here. And we can say rotate now and that will immediately rotate the key. As you'll see, there is now the current version and the older version. So that was the key we had before. This is the new key. We can also set up a rotation policy. So if we go to rotation policy here, um, we can set the expiry time to, um, let's put the lowest number in here, one. So it says it has to be at least 28 days. And then we want to enable, enable it. And then we want to automatically renew after a certain amount of time. So here, if I put seven, I'm trying to put the lowest number. So it goes one and I try seven. It says the value cannot be greater than 21 days because there's kind of a minimum and maximum about having a buffer. I don't exactly understand the math, but I know that um, if we change it to something like, I'm thinking here, um, expiry time 40 days, and there's a larger gap, this should be less of a problem. So it cannot be greater than that, 21. <laughs> I, I knew the math here a moment ago. I could have swore it was 28 and seven. So just. Well, I'm not sure that this is broken. Let's go ahead and save that. Try 40 up here and hit save. Value cannot be greater than 33 days. Okay, 33. Oh boy. So let me... All right, so the problem was I was in months and we'll have to go to days here. So here, if we put seven, it works fine, but there is a bit of work to figure this out and it will tell you, so you'll have to figure it out. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, oh yeah, it prompts again. So the, uh, the time before expiry cannot be greater than 21 days, cannot be greater than. Um, okay, so we put the expiry to 40, we save. So there is a bit of work there. I don't exactly understand all the math there, but I guess it's a way so that you have less problems, but that's key rotation in a nutshell. So there you go.